What's up everybody, this is Barry Fishank and today I'm bringing you the second episode of Aquarium Marathon Week and today I actually wanted to talk about Tiger Bobs because Tiger Bobs are one of my favorite schooling fish and um, they have always been, you know, one of those fish that I've always wanted um, so I'm going to tell you the whole story with my Tiger Bobs and things like that but just before, you might only see one Geophagus right now you can see this is my my biggest male right here you see um, but the other one is still alive he's just hiding in here let's see if he comes out you can actually see his lips in there I can see them at least yeah you can kinda kinda see them he hides in there he just swims around there just chills around um, you know he comes out when I feed them so it's not really a problem but he hides mostly in there for some reason um, for me, it's not really a good thing because I'm not going to see him that much, but you know, what can I do? You know, these guys are fighting a lot. Um, so the only thing I really can do is get another Geophagus male because it wouldn't work to get a Geophagus female because then they would just fight over that female and it would just go completely crazy, which we don't want. Um, but, you know, um, I, I try to, uh, I, I will probably try to get um, another Geophagus male just to, to make them relax a little bit more so that the aggression will be spread out um, but anyway let's talk about tiger bobs um, for tiger bobs there really isn't much to say because tiger bobs are extremely hardy um, they can tolerate pretty much anything um, they do like tropical aquariums that means you need to have plants you need to have a high temperature um, they mostly like the 24 to 25 degrees uh, celsius range um, but can go up to about 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. Um, so remember that. Um, also, um, a lot of people take these barbs as really, really aggressive. Um, I can tell you now, after I have kept these guys for, I think, one or two months now, I've never seen any signs of aggression. And it's because of a few things. You, you need to, to do a couple of things to, to make it work out. Tiger bobs are best kept in schools of at least six or more. Some say eight or more, but I would actually say that six or more is fine. Um, they they do get quite large actually. Um, some people have seen them up to three inches, which is quite a lot for a schooling fish, um, a small a tropical schooling fish. Um, you know they have these tiger stripes with orange, yellow, and sort of palish uh, orange color um, they look really really nice um, they are a great addition to any planet tank they really bright up the tank um, and as you can see they're actually quite active and they school all the time um, but what what most people uh, why most people say they are aggressive is because when they have uh, le lesser numbers of, um, of, of tiger bobs they'll actually begin to nip at other fish and the reason for this is because since it's a schooling fish, they have this sort of hierarchy pegging order sort of thing where they will um, make one that is um, one tiger bob that is dominant and um, you know etc etc like a hierarchy basically, um, which is pretty similar to African cichlids for example, um, just a little bit more different. Um, so if there are not enough of their own species to make that pegging order they will actually begin to include other fish species into their pegging order which is really stupid um, but you know that's it's kind of that's kind of a deal so um, you know they are I personally think they are the best schooling fish just because they get quite large you know they're great for big um, big tanks they're very colorful they're just really cool fish I really like them um, they do actually their form actually reminds me of damselfish from uh, from saltwater which is also one of my favorite saltwater fish um, anyway um, you know the, these guys do prefer larger tanks I would actually recommend I've seen people keep them in 10 gallon tanks and, and and they've been fine but I would actually recommend a larger tank I would recommend at least a 30 gallon tank because as I said they can get up to three inches and they like um, they like a lot of swimming space you can see they are very active fish um, so a, a bigger tank is great for them. It's a, it's a really great addition for them. Um, tank mates, well, as long as you keep enough of them, I would say pretty much anything. Um, because 
um, it's it's very important to to remember that um, that you have to keep enough of them because else they're just gonna kill kill everything you put into the tank because they'll actually group up and start picking at a fish. Um, like there will come like maybe four tiger barbs picking at one fish at a time, which is kind of crazy. Um, a lot of fish can't tolerate all that stress, so you have to keep that into mind. Um, you know, I think it's a great fish that they eat pretty much anything you throw into the tank. I fed them omnivore flakes, I fed them herbivore flakes, I fed them bloodworms, krill, mice, brine shrimp, pretty much anything you can find. They just eat it. Um, so they are great, you know, they are very easy to care for. Um, great beginner fish, I would actually say, but do rem I, I can't stress this enough, guys. Do remember to have enough of them, because if you don't have enough of them, you know what happens. It's just not good. It will turn out ugly. Um, so yeah, um, and you will realize when you when, sometimes when you get these guys in the stall in the in your local fish stall, um, they will actually be a little bit pale in color. They will not really look that attractive, um, but they are when you when you have them in your tank for about some some couple of weeks um, and feed them some bloodworms and things like that they'll really start coloring up you can see uh, these guys um, have actually been coloring up a lot um, since last time you saw them um, and the tank has changed too I've, I've not told you guys about that but I'll probably make a, an update video in this um, aquarium marathon week so stay tuned for that guys um, anyway um, so let me talk to you guys about my story with these guys because when I started in the aquarium hobby for about nine years ago, um, I saw these guys in the um, the fish store and I really wanted them, like really, really wanted them. I thought they were the coolest fish that was out there, um, just because of the tiger stripes. I thought it looked awesome, which is kind, of, which it kind of does. It kind of makes um, a unique um, look to them. They don't really look like m many other fish. Um, they do kind of remind uh, of clownfish, um, uh, no, not clownfish, uh, clown loaches, which um, they actually sometimes school together with, which is kind of weird, but they can do that. Uh, I, I don't know why, I've actually not researched about why they do that, but it might be because they think it's the similar species, I don't really know, but sometimes they do. Um, so they can be um, great tank mates with clown loaches. But you know, um, what I think is what's coolest about them was just the tiger stripes. I thought it was awesome. Um, also because when I saw them, they were a lot more active than, you know, um, Neon Tetris and many other Tetris who mostly just stand still in the water and do nothing, which is kind of boring. Um, with the exception of Romino's Tetris and things like that, which are very active Tetris. Um, so, you know, I think they are great. Um, you know, they also have a little bit more uh, of a solid structure, they look a little bit more badass <laughs> than Tetris do. They're a little bit more tough. They look a little bit, um, a little bit more tough. So um, you know that's basically my story with them, and it's only recently I've been able to keep them because the only thing I've been told is that you should never keep these fish. They are so aggressive, and they will kill everything in your tank, and it, they clearly don't. Um, which is what I'm here to tell you guys about. That that is a lie. Um, people just don't know how to keep these fish and that's why they, they get aggressive. Um, so I think they are a great addition to any planet tank. Um, you know, they'll just swim around and look at everything. They don't only stay at one part of the tank, like some uh, schooling fish only stay at the top of the water. Oh, you can actually see they're following my... Are they following my finger? They kind of do actually, that's kind of weird. Um, but uh, some schooling fish only um, swim in the top of the water and some only in the middle and the, and the bottom and things like that. And there are reasons for that, um, but these guys don't really care. They are kind of like an all-around fish. They'll just swim around everywhere as you can see, which is really nice. Sometimes they just swim around my driftwood right here, you know, in between the plants. Um, you know, they just swim around having um, a lot of fun. So I think that's really great about them. You can actually see my, my fire mouth right here actually um, flaring up um, in front of them because he hates them. Um, oh well, he kind of doesn't. He just swims together with them every now and again. And when he sees them, he just gotta, gotta look badass, um, which he always does. He, he always acts tough, um, which is kind of weird. He also does that to my dear Vegas, which is pretty damn strange because he's really small compared to them. Just look at that. <laughs> 
He's cute. He's a little bit um, he's a little bit small right now, but you know he'll grow up. Um, they'll actually get kind of huge famous and pretty huge fish. Just throw my son on this. <laughs> anyway, so you know tiger barbs are great fish. They they work really well in my tank at least, and I think they will do in every tank. Um, you know, really nice fish. Really like them. Um, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in another video.